I really want to look enjoyable too. <laughs> I, I do that as well. Yeah, looking enjoyable. I would like, like to look enjoyable. They're like, um, yo, they don't look enjoyable. They're like, they like turn look, it off. They, <laughs> they look like they're enjoying themselves a little bit too much. Like, I'm not really into that. <laughs> um, <laughs> dumb. Dang, um, I got this bowl of questions with a Z. Questions with a Z. Questions with a Z. Um, and I'm gonna pick one out, and then actually, who wants to go first? Who wants to pick? A we're all gonna answer it, but who wants to? Do you feel confident in your reading skills? Yeah, today. All right, today. All right. Pick a question, my friend. How do you feel about recent events revolving around George Floyd and police brutality? <laughs> right into it. Okay. <laughs> well. Wow. Ooh, heavy. Not light. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay. Good morning. Like, almost like once a generation, we have these, like, um, these, like, movements or these, like, unifying events that, um, like, bring people, either bring people together or divide people. Yeah. And I feel like for, like, previous, the previous generation, it was the civil rights movement. And then now, like, I feel like for our generation, this is the first, like, all right, the whole country is paying attention the to... The whole world is paying attention. Facts, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, like, the whole world is paying attention to um, black issues, which is cool because, I mean, corona season, obviously no one enjoyed that, but, like, kind of forced that, that, like, the, there's nothing else there's to nothing pay else attention to. to. Like, you're, you, <clears throat> like, we have to pay attention to this, so... I think that's cool that like, you know, we're, we're all kind of paying attention to it right now. For me, I, I, I feel like George, like when I heard about George Floyd, I was like, I was like sad, but it, for me it was just like, I, I was like, oh, well, that's normal. Yo, isn't that crazy? I was just like, that's normal. That's, you know, like, this is what that's it is. New. I mean, that's, this is what it's been, you know what I mean? Like right. this is, and, uh, but then to start seeing people rally together, I think it was the first time in my life I was like, oh, like, wow, like people are caring, like, uh, that aren't black. Right. Yeah. That was, a f this is actually the first time in my whole life where I felt people who are not black really start to care, especially for white real. people. Yeah. For real. Yeah. So. And start to pay attention. I think for me that I agree with you on that and it's, as emotional and wild as this time in our lives is, mm -hmm. it, for me it's also been very hopeful because of that. Because right. it's the first time that I've seen people that I've grown up with who are white, like mm -hmm. actually start to tune in and to listen and to be aware and to get educated and to yeah. pay attention. Yeah, People are seeking to understand mm -hmm. like that probably like would have been uncomfortable before, you know. Honestly, they're, they're having tough conversations with themselves and their own community. And I think that's really cool. I still think we have so far to go. Like we have, we have ways to go. Close. Mm -hmm. close. But it's a, it's a great start. Yes, it's yeah. a great start. I'm anxious to see in November if like this, like if black issues <clears throat> continue to be a priority for white America. Well, are they going to have the stamina to continue to right. talk about it and to like deal with it and be confronted by it? Because I'm like, we are constantly confronted by it. We are constantly Yeah, it's every day. Right? That's every day. It's every day. It's life. But for, um, for white people, like a lot of them, it's a new thing. And it's, mm -hmm. I'm like, it's going to take some endurance. So how long, how long can y'all run with focus And yeah. focus because they, they, white people, if they wanted to, like they could be passionate about it right now, but very easily. I mean, if I were white, I, I, It'd be very, like, do I really want to do this? I could just, like, right? keep my blinders <laughs> Do I want to do this fight? Like, do I want to be yeah. a part of this fight? Like, I, I, my yeah. life is great. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have yeah. to think about this, have most of them. So, um, yeah. yeah, it's going to be um, interesting to see if they they just s stick in the mud. Like, are they going to stay here with us? You know what I mean? That's going to be wild. Do you feel supported by the Utah music scene? Why or why not? Ooh. All right, this is, like... Wow. Low key heavy, but not really. Word. What's in here? Wait, I mean, it's not all did you heavy. Any like, fun it's was not, in here? I really did. I really did. I was like, yo, let me get some fun things in here. I don't know. We're drawing heavy. Okay, do you? What is. Yeah. I would say yes and no. I would say 
I feel like right now the Utah music scene is changing. Mm. And it's changing from like your underground indie bands playing the same kind of stuff over and over to creating an environment in a situation that supports artists of other genres. Um, but yeah, no, I think artists are starting to collaborate more. Um, the community, I feel like, is starting to come together. I feel like there still is a major divide mm. between the artists down south, Utah County, in and Salt the artists Lake. in Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. um, For real. It's, it, to me, it feels like it's two completely different music scenes. And it's like, I've got my people in Salt Lake that I kick it with and do music with, and then I've got my people in Utah County that I kick it with right. and do music with, but they don't kick it with each other or do music together, right? And so it's like, it's, it's that's weird. So, that's so it's true. It's like two different scenes almost. It's like you hit point of the mountain, and then it's two different places. Yeah. Two different places. I feel supported by the Utah music scene. Um, and honestly, like, it's not, I can't complain because, like, all of us have experienced a degree of success yeah. coming out of Utah and um, so like yeah we've been we've been fortunate in that regard yeah I think I think you're right like it's opening up it's starting it's opening up. yeah it's starting to get. I don't think I've ever been supported by the Utah music scene oh um, Utah music scene oh yeah. I've definitely been Bro, supported I'll by I'll agree with you there I've been supported by like Utahs Utahs and specifically like very mm -hmm. um active members of the LDS church but right. I feel like even from the get um, I mean that I have my people you know I mean yeah. <clears throat> usually people of color that I'm just friends with yeah. that support me but overall the Utah music scene I feel like I've been just kind of uh, I think you got blacklisted yeah I did I got blacklisted yeah. um, I like yeah I'm curious what your perspectives are like what so my t like so when you came out the gate with the James the Mormon brand, I think that like the higher ups, so to speak, in like specifically Utah County yeah. um, music yeah. scene are are not LDS or are like former LDS, ex LDS, and like don't really bang with the church like that. Yeah. Um, and so I feel like when you came out the gate so strong, and honestly, I don't know that for a fact that they don't rock with the church like that. That's genuinely just like me my, my assumptions i don't know yeah so i've never felt any love from the utah music scene and even past me i feel like they don't they've, ne they've never made it a priority to showcase people of color especially in utah county um and even like salt lake county like from what i know i, I still think it's, it's misrepresented of like at least trying to showcase mm -hmm. uh, music from people of color there's mm -hmm. phenomenal talent all I think I feel like Salt Lake County does a better job. Definitely, definitely. But um, I still think that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. On the big scales is what I'm saying. Like on the bigger scale. Of Here's an unpopular question. In speaking specifically to Salt Lake County, like, do you feel like it is Salt Lake County's job to, or the music scene's job to highlight black artists, or black artists' job? to get popping enough to be highlighted? I'd say it's both. Uh -huh. I would say we can bust our... Your metaphorical behinds? Yes. <laughs> we, can, we can bust that as much as, as much as we want and as hard as we can, right? We can go for it, send it, get as popping as possible. However, if the higher the music industry still refuse or push back on or hesitate on putting us where we need to be put. Mm -hmm. The and, gatekeepers, so to speak. Right, yeah. right. And like, well, that's why we gonna move. That's why everybody be moving out of here. True. I think that, I mean, it goes hand in hand. Like it's, it, I feel like it's their job. They're the platform, right? A lot oftentimes. So it's their job to seek out talent. And if they cared, they would find um, diversity throughout that talent mm -hmm. and then put them on their platform. You know what I mean? Like, right. it's your job to be talented. We, sh we shouldn't get handed anything. Um, but if there's platforms and, and talent, like yeah. people of color that are talented, equally talented, should have that platform. Um, all right. <laughs> What's the wildest DM you've ever received from a fan? I have a stalker. Bro, that is true. <laughs> Yo, I have a stalker for the last. Four years, man. That is true. Has she DM'd you? Who? What's her name? 
<gasps> no, I'm not gonna say. When I say it, I know who you're talking about. Yes, because she has after, DMG. Remember after we did the waiting on video, she DM'd me and she said, "I'm sorry, Brie. I'm gonna have to unfollow you. You knew I had feelings for James." Da, 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 all this stuff real and I was like that's cool you can do what you need to do go ahead and block me do your thing <laughs> me and James never have dated have never ever like this is a music video this is but she's huge. okay Yo, I, here's the about. story uh -huh. <laughs> this is a woman I've never met I think she's 55 I like she definitely she's definitely over 40 she's, she's okay, okay. she's an older woman mm -hmm. um, and she we've never met somebody catfished her using my uh -huh. my name and made her think that we were in a relationship and was having her send money money to this person and then and then she started reaching out to me and i was and like saying what what's going on where did you go blah 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 do, like, you see, do i need to send more money and i'm like what's going on and i one day jay got on there and made it very clear <coughs> mm -hmm. james has never ever talked to you he doesn't know who you are this you were getting catfish yeah he called her daughter to let her know we what's the situation. Daughter. Very clear. Very she wasn't clear. getting it. She wasn't she getting it. Jay's wife, Annie, also, I think, mentioned the surge. It's been very, uh, like, people on my team have told her numerous times, this, <laughs> you, this is a hoax. And oh, <clears throat> I'm laughing, but it's sad. It's, I'm laughing. This is, this is, I, and, I feel mixed emotions. I know, right? right? And yeah. then, uh, and she just hasn't, she's delusional. She's just, I can't get it. She's not getting it. I have never, ever, ever, Please. ever, ever tried to talk to you. Um, my DMs are dry. She's not gonna. She's not even getting out. <laughs> I guarantee she, you. She's she gonna be like, "I wonder who he's talking about." Yeah, wow. We didn't say her name. She's like, "He didn't say my name." I just, I just message him right now and see, uh, see what the situation is. It's like, who's this other girl? Who else has been messaging? All of my DMs about to pop up. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna yeah. get killed. Oh my oh. god! She's gonna murder me. Oh my god. Dang, bro. You hate to see it. Yeah. Hate to well, see if it. I die. If I die. Nobody you knows. You know what? Everybody knows. Um, Bree, how are your DMs? Um, I'm sure you're wilding. I'm sure they have to. Yeah, they, they have just, to just like, be like, like just your, just, you, just, you didn't have to do music. Right? Just, she just opens the DMs and it's like, oh my. Another one? Yo, we got the we got the daily mirror pics. You know what I mean? Like Yo, that's gotta true. be true. She been working on the fitness. Jealous. You know we got what the booty pics out here. <laughs> guys are coming Dude, through. You gotta trap them. <laughs> yeah. And then you just swipe and delete. Oh, oh okay. but we're not mad about it. You're like, okay, like he like me. Like, 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 you just like a little hype up and you just swipe delete. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. No, you. no, 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 no. Um, I don't get that many that are like crazy, crazy. Just like people trying to get creative with pickup lines or with, I, I'll get like people being straight up and they'll say, yo, will you marry me? I should do that. <laughs> I hate you, bro. <laughs> bro I'm not even surprised. I hate you. I'm not even surprised. <laughs> I used to do that. I'm not even surprised. So it was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> it's meant as a joke. Uh -huh. I don't think they're joking. Look, guys. Look. They really actually want to marry you? I do not it. slide in the DMs with, I want to marry you. It's will not you marry cute. me? No, it's no, no, no. Cute. It's not. It's just, will you marry James. me? No. Nah. James. I've had girls James, are you married? Yep, Has right. It <laughs> <laughs> Has it ever worked? I've done it as a joke. <laughs> Time out, man. Look, listen. As a joke. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Um, we, Yo, we need. But do they know you yet? Do they know you're you right. Because you're look, right. if maybe these guys that are in my DNC saying, will you marry me? Maybe. You don't think it's a joke? Maybe it's Why? a joke. But I don't know the one else, so I'm like... Okay, this is good feedback. <laughs> skirt, skirt, skirt. Good oh feedback. Mm, I haven't done it in years. I haven't done it in years. I appreciate but I, that. I, 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 I def, I, here's what I think is effective huh. while we're on top. Please, please, <laughs> let us know. Please. While we're on top. a minute for me, yeah. so I don't know. Yeah. Jay, Jay don't know. I oh forgot. Uh -uh. What's effective? What gives you the I think it's just, it's just... All the, I think the most effective thing to, to slide in a girl's DMs is the following. You look at what's going on in her life at the moment, uh -huh. and you ask her about it. Me, you watch her stories. And yeah, something's going on in her story. Yeah. It's like, oh, like where did you get that sandwich? You know, like you know what? Let me tell you or, something. That works. Yes, because okay, okay, all right. fact. Stamp of approval. Fact. I have never once slid up on a man's story before ever. I don't do yeah. that. Uh -huh. I'm like, oh, looking good. I don't do none of that. However. This one time I did have a bunch of people in my DMs, I was feeling good about myself. <laughs> and homeboy posted he's making sushi. 
and it looked gourmet sushi. And I said, <laughs> drop some off anytime. And now we're dating. <laughs> yo. 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 It worked. Right. Yo. No, no. You just talked about what's going on in their life right there. You, 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 the key to sliding in DMs. I'm dead. As, but listen, I, I feel like the, like, I feel like sliding in DMs gets kind of like a negative connotation because, yeah. but but that's just the. We're not talking about the dill pickles. We're just talking about. No 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 no. We're not talking about. Yeah. I've, in my whole life, I've never sent a dill pickle. <laughs> <laughs> my whole life, never once. There are no Thank dill. Goodness. There is not Thank one goodness. dill pickle. J- James oh, pickle out there. There's none. So glad. None on the net. So glad. Anyway. Um, <laughs> oh wait, same for me. So. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the. No, you just, you just, the key is to be a normal human being. Treat it like as if it were a normal human interaction. Thank just God. be a normal human being. Be normal. And, and ask them a question be about themselves. Be yourself. Don't. Don't be aggressive. Yeah. Don't be suspicious. Don't, Don't be suspicious. suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> 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 Have you written or rehearsed your Grammy speech? Oh, I feel like you have. You wrote this. Bro, I stay. I stay. Yeah. I think I've had my. Think? I think I've been rehearsing my Grammy speech since like middle school. Sometimes I add like the fact that I'm tearing up a little bit into it, like. <laughs> like, like yeah, like a little pause, well, like just to, like. If you're imagining yourself there, I can see yourself getting emotional, like the, the yeah, like, hey, yeah. we worked so hard for this, you know what I mean, like. And now we're here. Yeah. Here so so yeah, I have definitely uh, rehearsed my Grammy speech. It includes uh, thanking God, thanking my family, thanking my wife, um, everybody at the label. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out uh, Rhonda in accounting. Um, <laughs> you know, she always got that advance on time. Um, yeah, and then, and then I always include like something at the end, like in activism, like nice. in, whatever, like I'm fighting for at the moment. Nice. Um, Love that. Yeah, but yeah, and there's there's definitely gonna be like a little tear up in there, like, and then I'll keep going. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Even if I'm not crying, one I think day, I'm gonna put it in there, like just to be dramatic. Yeah, and one day we're gonna play th- that video that just happened right, I, right next to it at the same time. Yeah. 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 And I'd be like, yo, he's faking. He don't even care. He don't even want the Grammy. Been doing this since middle school. Been crying since middle school. Y'all ever heard your I cannot speeches? say the same. I've never once, and I don't think I'm gonna win a Grammy. Okay, well. Well, that makes sense why you don't rehearse that. I do think I will win one. And sense. currently, I don't now, I will be rehearsing the speech. If you, 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 you guys, you guys, guys if, if, any, if anybody that I know are going to win Grammys, it's you two. For sure. Like, like, such talented, such great voices. Like, like, me, I'm just Keep trying going. to, like. What else is nice about this? I'm just Honestly, I'm just like, <laughs> great sure. human beings. I'm like too. <laughs> always, down, always been there for me. Like, look, I'm here to help. I, honestly, if anything, my my win of a Grammy would be helping you guys write a song. Like, that's how I would win a Grammy. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's cool. So that's I'm just, song of the year. I'm just happy to cool. happy to know you guys. What do we got? What is your favorite part of being a public figure? I think honestly. For me, the best part is when I write a song, release a song that is personal to me and like inspired by true events or whatever, and mm-hmm. people will relate to it in a way that has absolutely nothing to do with what I went through that inspired mm-hmm. the song. But then they come and tell me like, yo, this song changed my life in this way, or it helped me when I was going through this, and it literally has no correlation to what I actually wrote the song about. Right. But the fact that it can hit them in that way and affect them in that way, like that's dope. Yeah. I love that. And I love hearing those stories and I love, like I love that part. That's cool. That is cool. Um, that happens to me a lot with Closer. Mm. Cause like, it's, it's like, the, it's kind of ambiguous, but like I had a very clear, like, you know, what I'm yeah. writing this about. Um, but yeah, people kind of always come out of like, the woodwork seemingly of like, Yo, it means this to me, and da 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 da. I, I feel that. I yeah, like that. It's cool. That's cool. 
when did you know music was something you could do? I guess I meant like, when did you know it was something that you could really pursue? Like, mm -hmm. when did you realize, oh. yo, I could really pursue music? My freshman year of college, like that, I was in like my first band. Uh, I started writing songs my senior year of high school, but then like freshman year of college, when we were like playing shows and like we recorded an EP and I listening back to it, it's like this wasn't good. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. it's, it's not no. great music. But um, <laughs> like people responded to it and like came to the shows and like we made some money and I was like, yo, I think like I could actually do this. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, again, like it wasn't some huge success of a project that obviously I'm not doing it anymore. But um, yeah, I think that was like the first time I realized like, yo, this could really be a thing. I think I knew I wanted to pursue music since I was like eight, but I didn't fully understand it or um, realize what I would need to put in and that I wanted to put that in mm. until, what was it, senior year? Oh, senior school? year of high school yeah i got flown out for the young arts program to miami and sitting like and that's something too utah needs to hop on that what is that bro young arts is dope it's yo, so all dope. right yo, let's give us some knowledge here give so the young knowledge. arts foundation it's a foundation all they do is support the arts and they have mm -hmm. like culinary acting um all kinds of different boards they have like classical jazz they have a bunch of different um disciplines within mm -hmm. it and so my mom and I, since the senior year, looking for scholarships, we found this one scholarship for like singing and songwriting. Yeah. Literally like the only one we found. And it was Young Arts, had no idea what it is, submitted, and they got an email back saying, congrats, you're accepted, and you're coming to Miami for a week. I was like, okay, what is this? Did you meet Pitbull? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be no. <laughs> Did you meet Mr. Worldwide? <laughs> no. no, but you go out and it's like a whole week of intensive training and you have music industry professionals Wow. Um, you have um, like the heads of music departments at insane colleges, like just anyways, and it's incredible, incredible. It's a whole week, you're just networking with a bunch of different people, meeting a bunch of different people, getting trained, and then you have the opportunity to apply to become a presidential scholar in the arts, which is only 20 people out of the whole nation. And then if you get that, you get flown out to DC and you do, you perform at the Kennedy Center and do all this stuff. Wow. Anyways, and you meet incredible people. And I was mentored by like Debbie Allen and like Word. insane people because of Young Arts. And nobody in Utah knows about it. Not at all. Not at all. But outside I mean, like maybe of Utah. Maybe some of y'all do. Yeah, but know. outside of Utah, it's like, it's like cutthroat. Like kids would be losing friendships over, over like if you get accepted and I don't. Like their friendships wow. are like ending. And then in Utah, nobody knows about it. So Utah needs to hop on it. Like if you have a student, a child who loves singing, acting, any kind of arts, mm -hmm. and they're in high school, submit. Submit. Send submit. it to youngarts.org. It's dope. Youngarts.org. Don't sleep. Oh, yes. Don't, it. don't sleep. Young kids. Anyways, that's when I realized when I was at Young Arts. That's when I was like, I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's dope because <clears throat> then you're in this like community of people who are all kind of like like minded mm -hmm. or have similar goals, and you're like. Hey, if so and so can do it, da 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 da, da like, yeah. all right, I can really do this. And I'd it like puts that. in perspective too, because I feel like, at least for me, growing up here, it's like, okay, well, I'm good because I'm Utah, like, mm. like, mm -hmm. and like, what's my competition? Who are they comparing me to, right? Right. But being flown out to Young Arts, it was like, no, you're one of the best in the nation. Like, that's what got you here. And like, turn around and look at who you with. You know what I mean? Oh, and so <clears> that's that's for me was super super defining in my life of like okay i'm not just some like yeah. singing in my shower and putting out some songs sometimes like i could actually do this yeah dang that's dope that's dope well <clears throat> y'all know me <laughs> <laughs> well uh here comes oh, the rain cloud i <laughs> always got one foot out oh, one foot in over here. um yeah i don't know i i think i've had success and I still am like, I don't know if I can really do this. To be honest with you, I have a lot of self doubt. Yeah. I I don't ever think I'm good enough. Um, and uh, I mean, I like I it goes back and forth, right? Or I wouldn't pursue it at all. I think I have one foot out, one foot in, just so that I just don't disappoint myself when mm. things. Um, you know, I keep the story. You know, anyone I, I ever asks me, I tell them it's a hobby, so that. 
if if things don't work out, it was just it a can't hub. be a L. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, I mean, I didn't end up failing. Like, oh, how can you fail at your hub? So, um, yeah, I, I'm hopeful. I'm still hopeful. Like, I, I'm making music. I'm making smart moves. To be honest with you, like on those albums, I have a lot of really big collaborations, and and, oh. and like I think that the it's good music. But at the end of the day, you know what's funny about music? It's like one, it's all about taste, even if you think it's great, and two. If, if you don't have someone pushing it, if, so, if there's not a vehicle pushing you, you can make the biggest pop in the world. Mm -hmm. And you know, your friends and family are gonna be the only ones that hear it. Right. So, like, you know, it's it takes a lot of talent, it takes a lot of hustle and hard work, but at the end of the day, the gatekeepers have to be the one to make it go make forward. It go. And you gotta have the plug. Yeah. So if, if you don't have the plug, all that hard work is for nothing. Um. I think I can't remember who the interview was with, but it was uh, it was a DJ, and he was talking about like gatekeepers, and he was like, "Yo, you could have the hottest record out, and if you don't have somebody with money moving that behind you, mm -hmm. good luck." He's like, "It just it ain't gonna happen." I feel like there's there's a little bit less truth to that with like the era that we live in now with like TikTok and like things can really pop off. Although I have yet to see an artist whose song popped off on TikTok who wasn't already a major label artist yeah. that is like sustaining a career off of it. Because the majority of people like they're hearing these songs on TikTok have no idea who the artist is or what the song is called. They just yeah. know <laughs> you know, but like they don't know. Oh, that's Saint John. That's Roses. Actually, that's a remix. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm interested to see over the next few years, like if someone like Benny with like Super Lonely, if like her art or her career, like really takes off, or if they just or remember that, that song. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm interested to see how. How that goes so like is TikTok just TikTok. creating what and the wonder. thing is is the thing is I don't think it's like it's also really hard to blow, blow up on TikTok you know what I mean like I think maybe in the beginning when it wasn't as big of a thing but everyone has the same idea now like oh get my song on TikTok I mm -hmm. make give it a dance right. like that's not enough to do it you still got to like now now there's TikTok influencers if you wanted to pop off you got to pay them you know what I mean yeah, it's, it's not, not free anymore it's yeah it's not. So you can't like, get no more free. Ain't nothing free anymore. No, like you got, and, and you're right. It's it, is it creating sustainability, or are you just creating like a song that's streamed and nobody's connecting with you as an artist? You exactly, know? Right. that's so, what I'm looking at. Yeah, like, people have to connect with you, an artist, for it to be sustainable. And um, mm. yeah, I, I think it's more more than that. And you're right. It takes money. It takes connections. It takes all those things. All the talent in the world won't make it up for that, you know what I mean, so. What I will say, don't get discouraged if you don't have money like that. Um, because, I mean, like, none of us had yeah. money like that, or That's like true. had like major label support or anything like that. So you absolutely start with grassroots and you just put the music out and you, your friends and your family share it and whatnot. And then that grows and becomes something that then attracts yeah. money and attracts right. industry, yes. people and yes. whatnot. So um, you don't need it all that out the gate, but kind of, what is it, what's the word? Like breaking the ceiling, like, yeah, you're gonna need that financial yeah. support for sure. Yeah. Anyway, you guys got anything to plug? What's coming up? I'm just writing new EP next summer, but. Hey, new yeah. EP hey. next summer. Follow, so I'll give them your handles, give me your, give me your socials. At the Brie Ray. Maybe I'll put it right here. If B -R -I -R -A -R -A. Um, I, I'm gonna, right now my Instagram is not this, but it's being changed to Please Stop James. How do you spell it? PLS Stop James. PLS, I, please stop James. Yeah. PLS, PLS Stop James. S -S yes. PLS. Please stop, James. I right, please stop, James. Um, be that on you got three platform. albums you're sitting on. Mm -hmm. Who knows when they'll come out? I don't know what's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Think about getting a dog. Same. Wow. Yeah, I got two kids, so that ain't <laughs> <laughs> I got two right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Think about getting some kids. Um, nah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> 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 um, in, in order to do that, I have to think about getting a wife. 
Yeah, you should look about that. So well, if, hey, if he, he should slides in and says, will you marry me? Yo, like, yeah. take it this seriously. This time he's not joking. Now he's not joking. Now he's not joking. You heard it here. He's I need kids in a job, You bro. heard it first. Oh, um, my gosh. <clears throat> single, June 26th, Take It Higher. Uh, album coming in the fall. And, um, it's really good. It's really good. I'm not going to lie. It's really good. It's very it's good. good. It's, it's a great good. song. Um, everyone here has heard every song yes. on it. And uh, they all agree that it's very it's good. Very it's good. very good. No, it is. It's not even a joke. It's not even done yet, right? <laughs> um, every song, song you've shown me is phenomenal. I'm not kidding. Yes. I do appreciate that. Everybody, listen, mm-hmm. pay attention. Um, this music yeah. is good. J Warren. No vowels. Follow him. Oh, that is true. That's my handles. I'll put them all on the screen for you guys. Anyway, thank you guys. This is questions. Oh, with, with a, a Z. Z. With a Z. Never with forget With a Z. Alright. Questions with a Z. Questions with a Z. What does a Z stand for? Stupid. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>